Hello, welcome to this week's video everybody. It's Rich and this week we're taking a look at this original Renault Clio Sport 172 but the phase one. So this was the generation that spawned a whole series of Renault Clio Sports through the 2000s. But this was the original. It was called the 172 phase one because and it was only in limited numbers, less than 1,400, I think, were sold in the UK. And they were built from late 99, early 2000, up to about mid-2001. So it was only, the run was only for about 18 months. The most obvious test to say whether it's a phase one or phase two is the headlights. So these are the traditional um, oval rounded headlights compared to the later phase two 172s which were the which were the more triangular shape so we're going to take this out see what it's like interesting with this car is that and well i can't for one minute i can't believe that now the the renault clio sports are over 20 years old um but we're going to take it out and this specific specific one has done 192,000 miles i mean and it's unbelievable the condition that it's in. It has had some work with regard to rust around the arches, etc. But really eager to see how this car drives. So, first of all, let's look at some of the features of this Phase One 172. There's two main obvious external changes to the from the phase one to the phase two. The headlights being the most obvious. Um, these are the original second generation Clio headlights. So remember that the first generation Clio was in the 90s and that spawned the Clio 16 valve and the Clio Williams. But this shape, which is the second generation of Clio, say the original at this before they moved to the triangular shapes of the phase two 172s and the, and the 182s. Personally, I prefer this front end. I just, these headlights, the look, especially in this silver, and I don't particularly like silver 182s, but I think the phase one um, 172s with these headlights, I just think it, it looks so neat. This one specifically, it looks absolutely fantastic at the front end. Um, it's more softer. It's probably less hard edged than the 182. It's probably a bit less aggressive, but, uh, and they're so rare. That's probably why I like them more, really, because I think that they stand out. If we come round the side, the Phase 1s only came on 15 rather than 16-inch wheels, and they, they certainly don't look as menacing. If, you, if I had my 182, unfortunately, which I don't have, which comes, came as a full fat with the, the, um, the cut packs, so it's got the 16-inch anthracite alloys, they, and it's slightly lowered, these do look by modern-day standards, quite small minuscule little wheels they're just not quite as mean and hungry it doesn't sit as low and as aggressive as the 182 so the side profile's not quite as menacing looking and if we look around the back of the car you'll see the obvious miss um, the obviously missing point is the twin exhaust which you don't get that protruding phase two um protruding exhaust double exhaust at the back so again to most people it just looks like any other Renault Clio now I kind of like that because that's it, it, it's the stealth looking it's you, who would have believed that Renault would put a two litre engine in something like this I can remember going in a, a friend's car 20 odd years ago when these were brand new and he had the 1.2 Clio and he said to me do you realize Renault Sport have put a two litre in one of these Clios and I just we couldn't get over how they've got a two litre engine in the front but yeah so that stealth look if you, you take that off and it just looks like a 1.2 Clio and, and and that I sort of I love that and this this color up close 
I, I really, really like it. This one is done in, um, it's got the blue. It's quite different from the, um, the later 182s and the phase twos, um, the inside. And I have to say, the wear is, it's worn remarkably well. The centre console, which I think for my 182 is particularly poor with the sticky black plastic, this looks so much better. Um, although I think people have said it, it looks very outdated. It may be, but it's definitely for me, um, it's worn the years far better than my later 182. These seats here, they're the same as in my 182. Um, half leather, half Alcantara. You've got to remember that um, this car's done 192,000 miles, which is huge credit to these. And the only sort of wear I can really see is just there in the corner of the seat. But otherwise, um, <laughs> it's remarkable that this car is 20 years old and, and it's covered a, a mighty 192,000 miles. What I want to do now is take this onto the open road and see how this little phase one drives 20 years old now and as I say nearly 200,000 miles on the clock and can this still deliver thrills fun on the open British roads let's go and find out so what's my first impressions well I've been out of my Clio, I've not driven that 182 for about six months actually, which I know is a sacrilege really, but um, it's good to be back here and in truth, you wouldn't really know. You wouldn't know your 10 brake horsepower down, you wouldn't know it was slightly, slightly lighter. Um, it's still got the same rattles and knocks and banging and vibrations as my 182, so that's exactly the same. Um, what I do prefer, well, this steering wheel's been wrapped, um, and re really newly wrapped, and it feels much nicer. Um, the the centre dash is a real letdown, I think, in the later Phase 2s and the 182s, um, because of that. All the black plastics have all melted, they've all gone tacky and sticky. None of this is, and that's because it's made of different material. It ha it's all a completely different layout. So, um, now... It, 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 yes, of course it looks very dated, but actually I'd prefer it rather than my sticky tacky black centre center console. Um, the seats, just as they are in the later 182s, they are a bit of a letdown. In fact, they are a big letdown. They are soft, they are squidgy, they are sort of comfortable, but you do sit on top of the car rather than inside the car. But what I do find really enjoyable is the engine. That engine still, it's still got that screamer of a two litre and it, you just throw it down B roads and it just goes so well. In fact, you've got to think this is, this car's older, say it's over, it's over 20 years old now and it's done 192,000 miles. It's incredible, the engine feels just as strong as mine. The only thing that I think is probably showing a little bit of wear is that gearbox just feels a little bit sloppy in some of the gears. It's still the raw car though that I remembered. It's still that. In fact, it might even be a little bit more raw. The, um, it's not refined at all. It's not great for long distance commuting or getting from A to B. This is to pick it up and wring its little neck down some B road. And that's what these Clio Sports are absolutely meant for. If you want to get somewhere comfortably refined, it's definitely not the car for you. And the exhaust, it's just not quite vocal enough. It's all a bit muted, it's all a bit, it's all a bit quiet really. Um, from a point of view of perhaps um, appreciation of some of these cars and they have been going up in value over the last couple of years normally history tells you that the first generations the first phases of anything are normally the more collectible and especially when the first phase and first generations are lower in number and that's what this car's got this is a 
phase one. We, there was less than the 1,400 that were built. There'll be far, far fewer than those now because of just natural attrition, rust, breakages, accidents, um, track conversions, etc. Now, so how many 172 phase ones are left? I don't know, but numbers are only ever going to get smaller and smaller. And because it was the first one, I just think they'll be more desirable. And down this B road here, it's absolutely, absolute fun. It just brings a smile to your face, and it's all done at sensible speeds. You're not, you're not going down at insane speeds with these cars, and that's what I love about them. They're small, they're nimble, they're perfect for British B roads. I don't care what car you're in, however powerful that car is, um, without taking huge risks and chances, a clear up sport's going to stay with you 99% of the time. So the clutch on this is just like the 182 as well. It's a very high clutch, it's a very stiff clutch, so you quite often give it too many revs because you're expecting the biting point to be lower, and it never is, and my 182 is exactly the same. There's nothing between a 172, phase one, phase two, 182. They've all got the same DNA. They're all lightweight, punchy, high revving, two litre engine, um, maybe lacks a bit of vocal noise, but by God, it's got a great chassis on it and it can hustle down B rows um, at, at great speed. The brake pedal, well, you're large, you don't have to brake, you just turn this car, and if it needs to, it'll cock up its rear in, in a wheel, like I do on my 182. It really is an absolute hoot to drive, and if you've never driven one, and you're a petrol head, and you're probably watching this video, I strongly recommend you, you drive it one. They are fabulous cars, absolutely fabulous. The thing that I am most, I think, thrilled about today in driving this phase one is how it drives. If, why are we all worried about mileage? This has done 192,000, nearly 200,000 miles. It's still less than 10,000 a year, but it's deemed as really, really high mileage. And a car driving this well, after that mileage, that use, they've not been 192,000 careful miles. This car will have been driven hard for 20 years, and it drives like it does. And that, for me, is, a real big message that says my 182 is on 116,000 and you know what if you keep it serviced you keep it well maintained this is an absolute pinnacle of a car that says these cars last these these, these cars will last a long long time and for me that's just made me more pleased now know that my 182 has got a lot more usage in it yet I suppose the million dollar question is, would I swap my 182 through a phase one 172? Yeah, I think I might do actually. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, thumbs up, subscribe, stay tuned. Another video next week. Thanks for watching.